This next story we have for you is kind of wild. You might call it uh, microchip commitment. A young man by the name of Emil Grafstra and Jennifer Tomlin, they are dating, have total access to each other's homes, cars, and computers. And they have that access by way of matching electronic microchips that are implanted under their skin. They're joining us this morning to, uh, well, to make you understand all of this, or to try to make me understand all of it. They're joining us from Vancouver, Canada, and I appreciate uh, your being with us. Uh, before we get to this, what this actual chip looks like, Emil, I want you to give me some demonstration. We have some videotape here of what you can do with this. For instance, I understand you can unlock your car door and open the door without ever putting a key in it. Yeah, actually, I can, you know, just walk up to the car, uh, present my hand to the sensor, which is just in the windshield of the car. Uh, it reads the chip ID and says, you know, okay, this is Amel, and then unlocks the car and disarms the alarm. And you can do the same thing with your front door? Uh, yeah, then I can come right in, and uh, there's a little sensor on the door. I place my hand up next to it. It reads my ID and unlocks the deadbolt. And you can also, I understand you folks are sitting in front of a computer, you can also... Uh, turn on your computer this way? Uh, yeah, I can log in, so it authenticates me. Okay. Cool. Let me ask you a question. Why? <laughs> well, uh, you know, basically I uh, started out with a large key ring. I had a lot of clients that were, uh, they would give me their, their facility key, and uh, I had like a jailer's key ring. So I was just looking for an easy way, a uh, cheap and easy way to get into, you know, the couple areas of my life that I always need to get into, which is, you know, car, front door, office door, and computer. So you meet this guy, Jennifer, and you start dating, and he tells <laughs> you what he's done, and he suggests maybe you do the same thing, and you think, are you nuts? <laughs> exactly. He got his done about a year ago, and I really couldn't understand why. Um, I was quite concerned with the health risks. I thought it might break in his hand or something like that, and I also thought maybe he could get tracked which scared me, but turns out it wasn't true, so. Can you? Uh, he wrote his book, and then after about a year of seeing all the cool projects, I decided to do it myself. Now, can you see this uh, little thing implanted in your skin? Um, yeah, you can a little bit. You can kind of see it just underneath the skin there. Um, it's, uh, you know, rare. I mean, some people that get them done, uh, you can't see it. But it's just, it looks just like a tiny little bump. Yeah, just a little bump. Do you have one of the chips there, uh, Jennifer? Oh, there, right. and we see it now. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's what, look, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch long? Yeah, it's about, uh, you know, half an inch. How, how, many, cylinder there. how many people have done this? Uh, well, since doing it in March, um, you know, there's been a small community uh, around the world of cropped up. Um, I'd guess anywhere between 30 and 50 people. And, and, and what are the future applications of this? I mean, I, pr I presume it'll be able to do more things than just open your... Uh, open your car door or your front door or log on to your computer? Yeah, there's a, the common theme is access control, but some people are matching profiles to it. So um, you get in your front door, but then like a home automation system knows that it's you and sets lighting and music and that kind of preference. And, and it's just, is it inserted under your skin with a needle? Um, yeah, the left hand was done with a scalpel, actually, and it was just placed under by a cosmetic surgeon. Uh, right hand was done with the same needle injector that's used on pets, actually. So, Jennifer, he can open your front door and you can open his front door, and the same thing with cars and computers. What happens if the two of you break up? Well, actually, a lot of people ask that. Um, the thing is, I really like the projects for my, in my own purposes. He likes it for his own purpose. Um, if we wanted to, we could take each other's numbers out of each other's systems, so then that would be really easy. But we both find function in it right now. So. <laughs> this is something for the future. I can say, I can, you know, how does a couple commit to one another? Well, I'll put you on my front door in my micro. <laughs> I suppose there will be a lot of future application. Maybe we'll all have one of these under our skins uh, in time. And we played the song, I've Got You Under My Skin, as we got into this. <laughs> and I, I suppose that song applies literally here. All right. Thanks for joining us, Emil, Jennifer, and explaining what you guys Thank are you doing. Very much. I don't know what your grandparents think of this, but it's a brave new world. <laughs> it is now 47 minutes after the hour when we come back to Watercooler. Deep in the heart. What did he just say? He said there's a storm coming in. 